Hello everybody, this is Tejashree here. Today we are going to see assignment problem part 1. So in this part we are going to see the basic introduction of assignment problem and we see one simple example how to solve it. Okay, so let's start with the introduction thing. Uh, so assignment word, this means that allotment of something to someone. So basically these two terms are very important in assignment problem. Those are you are going to allocate something to someone. So these something can be your job or it can be the task and someone means it can be any machine or it can be even a person. So basically a job can be performed by machine or person and in assignment problem you are given with number of jobs and number of machines or persons and you have to allocate those jobs or you have to assign those jobs to those machines so that you get the optimum solution or effective solution. Now, let us see how does it look like. So, assignment problem is again the row and column structure same as transportation problem in which rows are going to indicate the job or task. So, let's assume in our example those are J1, J2 and J3. These three are the jobs which are to be performed by some organization and columns are going to indicate the machines or persons. So, let's assume those machines as M1, M2 and M3 these machines are going to perform these jobs. Now there are some numbers digits. I can consider any random numbers 1, 5, 6, 11, 2, 7, 8, 9. So these numbers are nothing but effectiveness factors. This can be anything. It can be your profit figures or can be sales or it can be even your cost or time. So now if these figures we assume as profits or sales. So this type of assignment problem will be maximization type of problem. Why? Because we always try to maximize the profit and maximize the sales. But if these figures are given as cost or time, so we always try to minimize the cost and minimize the time. So in that case, this type of matrix will be your minimization type of assignment problem. So this can be anything out of either maximization or minimization. Now one more thing to remember in this is, see, have a look at the number of rows. There are three rows and look at the number of columns, there are three columns. So basically this matrix is your 3 by 3 matrix. So in uh, assignment problem, your matrix has to be n by n matrix, which means that number of rows should be equal to number of columns. And the solution of this will be the effective solution or optimum solution. It can be if the profit figures are given, then maximize it. If the cost figures or time figures are given, then minimize it. So this is how the assignment problem looks like. Now let us see one simple example of how to solve assignment problems. Okay. So here is the example. In this example, four jobs are given and four machines are given A, B, C, D. And these figures are your time figures which are expressed in minutes. Which means that job number 1 can be performed by machine A in 14 minutes. Job 1 can be performed by machine B in 12 minutes. Job 3 can be performed by machine C in 12 minutes and so on. So this is your minimization type of problem. Why? Because the, uh, this matrix contains all time figures or time digits. Okay. Now how to solve this matrix is by using the Hungarian method. This method is used to uh, only minimization types of matrix. If the maximization type of matrix is given to you, you have to first convert it into the minimization one and then you can proceed for this method ahead. Now let's see as our matrix is right now minimization type of matrix, we will directly start solving it. First step you have to do is check if it is n by n matrix or not. Yes, in our case it is n by n, 4 rows and 4 columns are there. If not, then what you have to do, you have to add dummy row or dummy column, whichever is lacking with all zero numbers. Let's take an example. Suppose there is one more column, say E, that you, uh, there are five columns and only four rows. So, in, uh, you will add on your own the fifth row, which will indicate all the figures that is zero, zero, zero. So, this is how you have to balance this matrix and then solve it by hand. So, now, as we know, our matrix is already balanced. So, let's start solving. First step you have to do is row subtraction. In row subtraction, you are going to consider each and every row separately. What you have to do is consider the first row, then in that row find out the minimum per digit or minimum number, smallest number and you have to subtract that number from all other numbers in that corresponding row. You are going to perform the same operation for all the rows. So let's do it in the row subtraction. So let's consider the first row in which the smallest 
this number is 12. So we are going to subtract this 12 from all these four numbers. So 14 minus 12 will be 2. 12 minus 12 is 0. 15 minus uh, 12 is 3. And again it is 3. Now second row. Whichever is the smallest number in the second row, that is 18. You have to subtract that from all the second row, from the full second row. So 21 minus 18 is 3. Then 18, 0, this is 0. And 22, 24. Same thing for third row, 12. So 14 minus 12 will be 2. 17 minus 12 will be 5. 12 minus 12, 0. And this will be again 2. Here, the smallest number is 3. So you have to subtract from all. So 3, 6 minus 3 is 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, this will be 0 and this will be again 3. So whatever matrix you get after this, that is known as your row subtraction matrix. Now next step we are going to do is column subtraction, which means that the same method we are going to follow, but just we consider each and every column separately. Let's see how that works. Consider the first column, that is column number A, in which the smallest number is 2, so you are going to subtract 2 from the complete column. So that will be your 0. Then it is 3 minus 2 is 1. Then 2 minus 2 is 0. And 3 minus 2 is again 1. Now in second column, see here 0 is the smallest number. So you have to subtract uh, 0 from all the numbers. But the resultant would be same. As we are subtracting 0 means nothing. So this column will be same. Again in the third column, 0 is there. So third column will be again the same. And in the fourth column, smallest number is 2. So we are going to subtract it from the full column. So resultant would be 1, 2, then 2 minus 2 is 0 and 3 minus 2 is 1. So this is your column subtraction matrix. Now after row subtraction and column subtraction, whatever matrix you get, that is known as, <coughs> that is known as your reduced matrix. Now, you, what next step you have to do is, minimum number of lines you have to draw which will cover all the zeros. Okay? So, minimum number of lines I will have to draw which is going to cover all the zeros, forget about the other zeros. And those lines should be only vertical or horizontal. Okay? So, those can be uh, tilted lines and such. So, let's see, here there are two zeros in this row, two zeros in this row, there are three zeros. So, wherever maximum zeros are there, I will cover that thing first. So now this row has gone. Okay. Now let's check again. Again two zeros, two zeros. Here only one zero. If we go column wise still two, two, one. So you go by any way. It doesn't matter. So this happened and this happened. So here whatever your combination may differ. That doesn't matter. What matters is number of lines. You go by any combination. You are going to require minimum four number of lines to cover all these zeros. Right. So now next step is if your total number of lines, which are 4, if this is equal to the number of rows or number of columns, which are which is 4 again in our case, then there lies your optimum solution for the assignment problem. If number of lines is not equal to number of rows, then we have to do some other method that we will see in part 2 of the assignment problem. But right now in our case, yes, it is same, both the things are same. So here is my optimum solution. Okay, now what I will do, I will just uh, copy all these figures, all these digits again here to find out the final solution. Those are 0, 0, 3, 1, then 1, 0, 0, 2, then next is 0, 5, 0, 0, and last row is 1, 2, 0, 1. Now, this is my solution for sure, but how to obtain it? Which job is assigned to which machine? How to know that? So, First of all, find out whichever row or whichever column which contains only one zero. There, for sure, I am going to make a location. So, I will go row wise. First row, there are two zeros. Here, two zeros. Here, two zeros. Here, only one zero is there. So, I am going to allocate here. How the allocation is shown? By using this square. So, I am going to make a location here for sure. Now, as job number four is assigned to machine three, no any other job can be allotted to machine Therefore, I am going to cut all other zeros in that particular column and in that particular row, if any. Okay. So, now all these zeros are, uh, are gone. Now, let's see again. There are two zeros here. Now, here in this row, there is only one zero. So, I am going to make a rotation here. If I make a rotation here, I will have to cut this zero out. Okay. Now, once it is cut, so next time if I see here, there is only one zero. I will make a rotation here. I will just cross it. 
and once this is crossed, there is only one zero left and the allocation here. So basically, for job one, machine A is allotted, for job two, machine B is allotted, for job three, machine B is allotted, for job four, machine C is allotted. This is what exactly we are going to write down in this table. So for job one, machine A is allotted, for job two, machine B is allotted, for job three, yes, machine B is allotted and for job machine for job 4, machine C is allotted. Now, what is the time required for each machine to perform that particular job? That figure, this figure, we will come to know from the original problem which is given to us. So, let's see, 1A means 1 and A, 14 is there. So, 14, I will write down in the time column. 2B, so 2B means 18, means 18 minutes are going to require here. 3D, 3D means 14 is here. So, I am going to note down 14 here. And 4C, 4C means 3 is there. I am going to write down 3 here. So, if I take total of this time, it comes as 49. And as I have already told you, these figures are mentioned in uh, minutes. So, 49 minutes are required to perform all these 4 jobs on all these 4 machines, which is the optimum solution. You cannot get lesser time than this time. This is the least time which you can obtain by using the Hungarian method. So, I hope you are clear up to this. Thank you.